Cell phones nowadays require too much visual attention. In cases like driving or scootering, this can be catastrophic. To minimize the need for visual attention, we develop virtual shells, a way to interact with devices using spatial memory. More specifically, we use device orientation in the theta plane and the phi plane. These angles can be measured by using inertial sensors or magnetic trackers such as Ascension's flock of birds. But we chose to use motion capture. We used six Ficon cameras to capture the theta and phi orientation of a marker device. We ran an experiment to measure exactly how many regions in the theta and phi plane people can hit accurately. It turns out that in the theta plane, there can be seven regions, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12, one, two, and three. In the phi plane, we have four regions, one, two, three, and four. We use the results from the first experiment to guide the strategic placement of shelf positions supported by the system. It is possible to have up to 28 shelves in total. As I move along the theta plane, I scroll through the basic functions of a phone. Of course, the ordering here is arbitrary and can be customized based on preference. Here, if I move along the calling slice, I get speed dial to my most called friends. In the music slice, I can access my favorite playlists. There are more applications of virtual shelves. Calendar is a good example. The cell phone's calendar is often used by people in a rush and can be dangerous. A calendar can be easily mapped into the virtual shelves. Here we map the seven days of the week into the seven regions of the theta plane. In the phi plane, we have the different parts of a day. And if we add audio readback of the calendar events, 12 to 2, 30 lunch with Jeffrey's family. users will not have to look at the screen much, or even at all. Another application is web browsing. Let's check our bookmark, say CNN. Headline, seven patients, one nurse, killed in nursing home shooting. We can get basic information without looking at the screen. This is a brief introduction to virtual shows. We also ran an experiment which evaluates virtual shows against the native interface of a Nokia N93 and found that it supports faster attention-free interactions. For more details, please take a look at our paper. With virtual shows, we hope to allow for quick, attention-free interactions with mobile devices.